but not just not doing it. Chute is going to lose another B5 battle cruiser as Boggs is just trying to put on the damage, but he is a little slow on the uptake. And there goes down a B5, another B5 taking damage. Boggs not looking to follow it, looking to take on this descent, but how? And the descent is just stopping. Oh, and the, I don't know why the descent isn't moving, why it isn't heading to repair. Uh, I think it's acting as a sacrificial lamp. However, that descent is going to wipe out the rest of Lupus's supply by losing that ship. It is a very, very, very bad to lose that ship. Lupus only having 13 supply. By losing this, he's going to lose the rest of that supply, forcing him to buy. Although, as we can see from the top left corner, he's very low on resources. And that does it for that descent class. It is gone. Going back to Yandin's base, we see that another sphere is coming up. While he has another dodecahedron already built, as well as another couple of probes. Looking at Lupus's base, we see that he has put out a canaveral. He's building canavels and Excelsior 2s. However, he is resource starved. He's got no supply. He's got not enough Tritanium to put that up without the Tritanium expansion. And Boggs is moving up with two ships to put some pressure on that expansion. And as we see, again, Lupus is just turtling up, not being able to put out enough ships there to support his teammate, which is very, very unfortunate. See over here, Yandin Sphere taking on those battle cruisers. Battle cruisers not being able to put up enough damage on it to take it down. And we see that uh, Dodecahedron and two probes are moving in right behind. Does seem like Yandin's going to keep his sphere in his base for right now. This is also another torpedo regen sphere. And we see that again, a descent from. From Lupus, the same descent from before, going to take quite a bit of damage, needs to get out of there, otherwise he is going to lose it. That We see that we've got cohorts here just, just pouring on the damage onto this descent class, and the descent class is he's going to get to the yard, I believe he is going to be able to repair, especially with those battle cruisers coming in to support him. However, right now, the Hungarians are in a very precarious position position, not having nearly enough ships to be able to fight against these large spheres. As we can see up here, Boggs is just able to go around taking on these turrets, not too worried about it, as we see that, you can see there's quite a bit of difference if you remember the old phaser turret from the previous version versus the new one from this. Um, it lost quite a bit of the ability to do damage, which is what some people believe correct because they believed it was slightly overpowered or a whole lot overpowered depending on who you ask but then there's some people who think feds are overpowered but that's a discussion for another time we see Yandid moving with his two spheres and one dodecahedron and this dodecahedron is a regen and torpedo so it's regen torpedo it is to do damage and it looks like that's what it's going to do. Now, Yandin is no longer bothering with the B5s as he does have that dodecahedron relay up to help Boggs. We see that Shute has built some T15s. Now, the T15s do have, I believe, a Tetran torpedo to do more damage against the Borg vessels. But it just might be a little uh, too little too late. We see that we have that it also has a blade of armor, which will do well against short range. Although we see that these spheres are medium range, so it will not help there. And here we see an unfortunate side effect of turrets and your placement is you place them far out towards here where you think your enemy is going to attack, where they can then just come behind you and attack you from a distance without having to worry about the turret. And here we see that Lupus does have three Excelsior 2s. He's firing on these Quebecs. And we see that the, tor the torpedo's hitting, doing quite a bit of damage. Is he going to lose? Yes, Borg, excuse me, Boggs does lose a Quebec. 
We also see the special from the Canaveral. We had seen it going off. And we see Box trying to get out of there, but he is going to lose that Quebec to those quantum torpedoes. They are nasty. But however, these Quebecs are going to get away. Well, at the same time, we see Yandon has moved up with his two spheres into Lupus's base. Now, these these turrets are not going to be able to do nearly enough damage to these spheres. These spheres are just going to be able to take out the smaller stuff at their leisure without having to worry about really being hurt too badly. And that one little canaveral trying to get away as it is being attacked. However, the dodecahedron has quite a bit of range on it. Going to be able to shoot that from afar. And Lupus is going to lose that canaveral and it does hurt. Those are quite expensive, titanium-wise. If we look at the very top up here, Lupus almost has another warp in ready. We'll see whether he goes for the descent class or a normal warp in where you would get three ships. Oh, and this poor, poor placement of this Excelsior 2 coming out right near the spheres needs to go repair right away. Otherwise, he is going to lose it as he takes damage. But he is not going to repair it. The Excelsior 2 too way too late. Here come the rest of the Excelsior 2s. However, they are, while they can do quite a bit of damage with their quantum torpedoes, they are severely outnumbered with two spheres and one dodecahedron. And we'll see, no, it cannot get the repair off. Lupus is down to two Excelsior 2s, one Canaveral, just able to do nothing. The Andon is just going to be able to sit here, destroy ships, and pick them off. And we'll take a look at his base, and he's put up another collective uplink. He's got 68 collective connections, but no supply. So we go back down to Boggs's base. Boggs is not doing doing all right, not doing so well. He does have a bunch of small ships, but it does appear that he lost his yard, whether by losing it or decommissioning. But it does not matter because Boggs has moved up to a battle yard, and he's building charts we've seen lately from Boggs using the charge special ability to hold ships in place while they do get destroyed and that could spell very bad news for any battle cruisers and here we see that this sphere just being able to take quite a bit of damage however he is out of special energy so he's not going to be able to completely repair right now although he is throwing out the region but this other sphere doing just all right trying to take out this Arati yard he is going to be able to take it out not even worrying about the one bit of damage we get from the one Excelsior 2. As we see, an Excelsior 2 over here that has lost its engines. And let's see, no, we do not have any constructors over here from Lupus. So, oh, and Lupus just brings in another descent class ship. Oh, but here comes the cavalry. Here comes Shute with his battle cruisers, but it, it's just not going to be enough. As well as the B8 prototype and another B8. They're going to be able to take out the Dodecahedron. But Shute does lose the B8 War Frigate. Oh, he lost the prototype, so unable to build any more of those. Those T15s are going to follow the Dodecahedron. Oh, but a slight physics block. Oh, no, no, they... But the fighters, let's see, and the fight... No, no, the dodecahedron gets away. But Shute, Shute is following... Oh, and Shute turns around. He missed an opportunity to take out that dodecahedron. As we can see, a very interesting feature of 3.1.4, we see that the T-15s have actually been able to take on the fighters from the Lost Battle Cruisers because of Civil Shuttle Base. Or it's something new added to to Fleet Ops since in 3.1.4. And we'll see if we have them here. Let's see. Oh, excuse me. I was looking at a Battle Cruiser. Oh, I do apologize, folks. I had this completely wrong. These are not T-15s. These are Battle Cruisers. Please forgive me. Okay, and we see the battle cruisers taking on the sphere and firing. But that one battle cruiser is going to have to get out of there. But it does look like Gandon might lose the sphere. The sphere taking quite a bit of damage. No special energy. Being able to repair slightly. We have only one descent class though following it. 
those quantum torpedoes from the descent class being able to put quite a bit of damage on it. However, that, that B-5 has to get out of there. This descent class should, though, be able to take it out. It's firing. Another. We'll see what another volley does from the quantum torpedoes. But here comes another Excelsior, too. And that's just going to be horrible. And there we go. The weapons just come back on. But, oh, he is going to move away with the descent again. Another missed opportunity to take out one of the enemy's vessels. Completely missed. And to take you down to the action, here we see Boggs is just taking out Chute's expansion. Um, we see ha he has a couple of veterans here. Let's see if we can tell what they are. It does appear that we have a veteran cohort, two veteran cohorts. And their special ability, let's see if we can find it here. Uh, yep. Uh, there we go. The, the veteran cohort special ability to potentially take out the engines of the ship they're firing on and we see Shute does that and there we go there's the there's the veteran special with just knocking out the engines of that battle cruiser not allowing to get off to repair Shute losing all his ships down here and at this point I would expect to see a good game anytime now as here comes another battle cruiser. However, Fox does have the charge. He will be able to use that holding beam special to keep the ship from repairing.